And welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Asperia. Last time, we mostly were doing side quests involving the Gigantomonster, now that we have the Sources Ring, level 4. Even though only one of them actually required it, we also should probably go to Cave Mark at some point and explore, but I keep forgetting. Um, and this time, we are going to actually take a look a little bit more in-depth at Namco Banda Isle, because, if you didn't know, this is the 100th video, so let's do something a little bit chill. So, fun fact, if you try to go through the gymnasium this way, this guy is blocking the door. Um, apparently ate something bad. So, to actually get into the gymnasium the, your first time, you actually have to go through this door. This kid tells you, so you basically just have to talk to everybody to figure this out. Not too big of a deal. I had to look it up. Um, wow, this place is crazy. Guess I should have known I might run into you here. Are you here on some business with Fortune's Market? Fortunately, not quite. I just learned of this island, so I decided to come and have a look around. So have you figured out what sort of place this is yet? It's a kind of playground. A paradise where people can come to forget the troubles of their day-to-day -day lives and just have fun. It doesn't look that way to me. See for yourself, I think you'll see what I mean. When you exchange your gold for chips here, you might as well do it sooner than later. Yes, we'll do that. Well, have a good time. Talk to you later. So then, you want to try exchanging our golf for chips? Yeah, good idea. Okay, <laughs> just making sure. Hello, hello. Pleased to meet you. Is this your first time here? Yes. In order to enjoy yourself here, you'll need chips. You won't be able to use gold. Can you exchange either gold or grades for... Ew. <laughs> Why would you exchange a grade? This is your first time. Here's a little something on the house to get you started. Play lots of games to save up enough chips to exchange them for marvelous prizes. Just talk to the ant line man next to me for exchanges. What? <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Obviously, you know, if we had finished Cows' quest, we would have figured out um, what the ant line people look like. Uh, these are good items, I think. Um, Harold, I guess, which is probably a character from another Tales game, if I had to make a guess. Man, these are expensive, though. Um... Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Well then. Um... <laughs> also, I still haven't healed from the last part, so... Let's do this. Try to boost Nuri's cooking stat a little bit. Welcome, great to see you. This is the poker table. Well, I'll be. They've got poker, hey? We even know what this poker thing is? Young and this poker. It's a type of card game. Correct. In poker, players are dealt with a deck of 54 cards and compete to get the highest hand. It sounds hard. Well, it might be difficult for a little shrimp like you, but... No, no, not at all. I think you'll find a nice leisurely diversion. Just ask any time if there's something you don't understand, so you needn't worry. So we wanted chips, right? You need at least one chip to play. However, the more chips you bet, the better you pay out if you win. What do you say? Would you like to play? Um, do we actually want to play right now? Um... Hmm. Apparently, there was actually an event you can get reading this. Um... Holy cow. Apparently you get a title for having 250,000 chips, which sounds ridiculous. Um, this guide says there's a chance upon entering the gym that there will be someone winning big at the poker table. Judith will go over and challenge him to a game. Regardless of whether or not you win or lose, you'll get you his title, Legendary Gambler. Um, so apparently there are times... I don't know how to trigger this, but yeah, you can basically, um, with this poker game, you can end up... Oh. Welcome to Iaco's official testing facility. Are you here to take the test? I, uh, I don't even know what to say to that. But first off, what sort of place is this? This is where you can take the Imperial Academy Conference Collaborative Research Organization certification test. We've set the hurdle rather high, but passing this fine examination will earn you a special doctoral degree. 
Hold on a second, Yakra, you mean the top research organization in the whole empire? The famous organization recognized by Researchers Weekly, the top academic journal for peer review and research presentations? Oh, quite impressive. Seems you are no stranger to our field of study. And you are no doubt familiar with the Miska doctoral degree. You can take a test to get that degree here. Quit pulling my leg. The Miska degree is the highest honor a Blasi researcher can achieve. You expect me to believe that you can take a test for something like that here of all places? Huh. Hey, Yuri, are those two speaking in another language or is it just me? I don't understand what they're talking about either. I guess all we can do is see what happens. The original test can only be taken in the appeal capital, is true, but our facility is recognized as an official alternate site. Actually, it was at the site where I received the degree, the degree myself. You're saying that you are the single person who managed to obtain a Miska doctoral degree? Well, I'm afraid I've got to introduce myself. I'm Miska Jitalingen. Why? Hold on, you can't be serious. Are you saying you're the same Miska Jitalingen who discovered mas magical antibodies? You're that Miss Miska Jitalingen? That's a person? Yeah, it looks like it. He's standing on two legs, isn't he? Yes, I am the same Miska Jitalingen who discovered- This is going over my head, big time. Um, Rina, I'm not really sure if we all understand what you're talking about. Ah, right. Simply put, this person is the most renowned Blasi research in the research in the world. I've always felt a certain connection to what he wrote in his research papers, and his ideas are very close to my own. I'd never met him before, but I guess I felt like we were, we were close nonetheless. So we're trying to get his dismissed doctoral degree. To be honest, I never really cared about the prize for papers, but I always thought if I could get I could only get the Miska doctoral degree. Oh my, how flattering that you could have so much respect for what I've done. Guess I can't judge a cow by its other. So what do you say, would you like to take the test? Before I come all the way out here, what do you say, Rita? I'm sure you'll pass the flying colors. Sounds right, we won't be able to go to the original test site in the capital anyway. Are there requirements for taking the certification test? Anything I need? You're determined, I can tell from the look in your eyes. You remind me of myself when I was your age. Um, all the items that you need in order to take the test are written on this piece of paper. Make sure not to lose it. If you come back with those five books, you'll be able to take the test. The village carpeted flowers, reflections on the center of the sea, or planning for bustling cities, the legend that sleeps in the sinking sands against the backdrop of new hope. Think of the search for these books as the first part of your test. Good luck! Since this books we're looking for, maybe we should look in the sort of places that you normally find things to read. Right, let's go around and see if we can think of any good places to search. Okay, I'll call shenanigans. This guide says you can't do this until after, uh, like, post-game stuff. Not post-game as an actual post-game, but like, really late game because you need like a bajillion gold to do a particular thing. So, uh, yeah, I call shenanigans on this guide. Um... Okay, okay, can we actually do this now? So, uh... We are traveling the world looking for books, apparently. Um... I'm trying to remember if there was a quiz involved with this. I feel like there was. Like, you actually have to answer questions. But, um... This guy doesn't list the answers, so... If there are questions, we might be a little bit in trouble. Uh... Apparently we need to go to Halur. Azafius. You think we might be able to stop by the capital? The capital? Aren't there people left in the lower quarter you'd like to see? It's not anyone I absolutely have to go see, but okay. Hmm. Interesting. Obviously telling us to go to the capital, but you know, I kind of want to do this other side quest first. Um... So apparently, in your first book, if you want to go by chronological order of first visited, I assume, is in the mayor's house, it says? Um, I'm not seeing anything here, though. Is this right? The books are in the Elder's Home in Hellur. Uh, huh. Where exactly is this, then? Here it is, this is the village carpeted with flowers. Ah, uh, such a tattered old book you have there. Would you mind if we borrowed it? 
Certainly, I don't mind. It's just some old technical book. It's all gibberish to me. Thanks a lot. No, think nothing of it. I can never thank you enough for what you've done for our town. Hmm. Interesting. Just sort of checking out items and stuff. Okay, so our next stop is... Heliord. Now I'm really curious about what's in this is the capital. <laughs> you know, what? while we're here in this neck of the woods, let's actually go to the capital. You know what, I'm actually legitimately starting to think the series will, despite the video length, actually uh, pass up the length of Okami, which is actually really crazy if you think about it. <laughs> it's actually really crazy because that was 20 minute episodes and that was 111 parts, so think about it that way. We're almost 100, we're at 100 parts and we're doing half an hour videos, so we're at 60 hours roughly. Yeah, like why did he say to, or why did they say to basically come to the lower quarter? <laughs> I don't quite understand. Hmm. I'm really confused by this actually. Like legitimately I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be coming here for. Hey, I might as well heal while, while I'm here. Not an easy sentence to say. Yeah, not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. <laughs> Yay, vague cutscenes. So, like, like Hanks is in here to talk to. I'm not really sure why. It's like, oh, you want the lower quarter you want to see? And then goes to the lower quarter and nothing happens. It's like, okay. And we need to Heliord. Heliord. It's always baffling to me that they can never sell on the pronunciation in Tales games or certain names. Yeah, because I could have sworn they've said Heliord and Heliord at different parts of the game. Um... I'm entering from the left. I should have entered from the right exit, actually. Because where we need to go is on the right side of Heliord. So, whoops. Oh, yeah, apparently you can talk to somebody really early game and there's this blast here that triggers like some quest that spans the entire rest of the game. So that's fun, if you don't know about it until looking at a guide randomly. Which is totally what happened to me, by the way. Uh, of course it did. Right here in the back of this box. Ah, urban planning for bustling cities. Found what we're looking for, but there's no way around, that, around at all. What should we do? Excuse me, we'd like to borrow this book. That's okay, right? I don't think I- I don't hear any objections. Let's take the book and go. I don't know how anyone could hear such a quiet voice. Oh, Yuri. I do feel like this is actually something I've wanted to talk about for a little bit, so I guess I should bring it up. Um, I feel like in terms of replay value, this set game actually has like the best replay value of any Tales game. Uh, mostly just because it's the most to the point. Um, I just legitimately think that if you were to replay a Tales game, this would easily be the best one to replay, just because the other games have so much going on in them, uh, to the point of just being kind of, um, I almost want to say overwhelming, <laughs> in terms of a beginning. Not, not what I meant entirely. What I meant is, like, this game generally just hits the ground running and doesn't really, um, mess around in this opening, I guess. That's a good way to put it. So... Wait, what? Okay, so we ca actually can't complete this quest yet. Okay, cool. Um, we can start it, we can't finish it because the last book is actually uh, at a town we haven't been to yet, believe it or not. So we can just get some of this done. I... Totally ran past where I was supposed to go, didn't I? I totally did. Good job. 
Yeah, like Abyss, for example, it's kind of a slow start. A very slow start, actually. Um, apparently it's supposed to be- wait, what? It says Fortune's Market, right? F Fortune's Market and Capo Torm, so... It says to look at the bookshelf and... Um, we can't exactly do that. Oh, we can. Is this the book you're looking for? Yes, there's no mistaking it. That's Reflections on the Scent of the Sea. Also, you're interested in my odd biography. Perhaps the allure of the high seas prophet has finally caught your eye. You wrote this? What the oops, I mean, could we have it? Straight to, and to the point as usual. I admire your, I admire your candor. You may have that book if you like. Study it well, you might learn something. Thank you, this helps a lot. Oh my, all this interest in my life story and now words of thanks from you. I can feel the winds of change blowing from, from across the sea. Well then. <laughs> no pressure. Now also, since this guide's like, oh, there's an event where you have to talk to somebody is near the poker table and then you get a title for it. Like, to me, it sounds like it's a chance when you enter, like, the gymnasium. Which actually legitimately makes me wonder how good of a chance it actually is of occurring, this event. Do you just kind of reload until it happens? I'm not sure. Like, again, do you leave the entire area? Can you just leave the gym and constantly re-enter? I'm not sure. But yeah, we actually can't get every book right now, so we're just gonna get the four we can and save that quest for a little bit later. Actually, that explains why it says you have to wait till a certain event is done, so yeah. Seems like it should be around here. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It's a legend that sleeps in searing sands. Well, well, this book belongs to the inn, doesn't it? Yep. Is there something you wanted? Well, it's about this book and the shelf here. Oh, that? That shelf is full of books I guess have accidentally left in the inn when they've stayed here. To be honest, we don't have any use for them at all, and guests hardly ever come back for their books. You can feel free to do whatever you'd like with any of the books in that shelf. So you mean you don't mind if we take one of them? No, go right ahead. In fact, this, that shelf fills up pretty quickly. We've just been throwing away the books whenever it gets full. Alright, we'll take it then. Thank you. Nice, so that's the four we can acquire at the moment. Again, one thing I do know coming up is there's apparently a big side quest involving rebuilding a town. That's actually a prerequisite for a lot of side quests, so that's gonna be fun. Apparently it costs like... It's like a three-phase thing, and some of the phases involve like having to spend like several hundred thousand gold. So that's gonna be interesting for sure. Now I'm trying to think of other things we can do, and one thing we can actually do is go back to Cave Mock of all places, because I think were some places that we could use the new Sorcerer's Ring on. Which one was Cave Mock again? Was it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, it's been forever since we've been here. Um, how many holy balls do I have? Probably enough. And I did heal. I don't know when, but I healed somewhere. Just sort of sidestepping everything at this point, just because I can. Um. These enemies have pretty small hitboxes, so they're actually easy to navigate past, even though they are blocking very narrow passageways. Um, that's not helpful for us. This loops back here. Um, I really could fight the enemies, it would take like 5 seconds each, but uh, the loading times between battles would take longer than the actual fights, as us that sounds. Um, I legitimately think that, by the way, because these enemies are pretty early game. I feel like they'd go down pretty fast. This was like secret mission 4 or 5, I want to say. Uh, it was pretty early. Hmm. I have sworn there was an alternate path. Oh, hello. Can I pause this 
Nope. <laughs> Not gonna get the chance. I have been trained by knights. I won't lose. Okay. This is taking longer than I thought, but yeah, you it's very short. Actually, you know, one thing I can commend, even though I was joking about it, uh, the loading times between battles and fields are actually pretty short compared to most games like this. Or maybe I'm just spoiled because old Final Fantasies just have terrible transitions. Um, that's probably it, actually, now that I think about it. I could have sworn there's more stuff hidden than just this. Burn that away. Go up here to this area that we could not actually reach before, and we get the Nebulim. Obviously, for Raven. A bow with two virtues and two hearts. There's nothing, its arrows can't pierce. It's weird that it's actually kind of a weak weapon, even though you get it pretty late game. Burn through that. Um, obviously, a little shortcut. I could have sworn I read something about the one of the, like, Fell Arms is linked to this place somewhere. I just don't know exactly the details behind that. Um, maybe behind here. Or not. What happens if I try to walk over to the air crane? I can't actually. Makes sense, but still want to try it. It is weird to have this much exploration of an area, like game, like, you know, this is optional obviously, but you have to have all four spirits, and this is like super late in the game, be coming back to like, one of the early dungeons. Something kind of nice about the Tales games actually is they seem like they're pretty good at remembering early game locations, but that also creates problems when then you have to actually find side quests in them. It was so good about remembering early game locations that it just makes a complete headache for the player. In other words... Hello, there's something I, that can be destroyed over there, but how do we get over there is the question of the day. Not really, but uh, metaphorically speaking, yes. Uh, nope, can't get over there. Can't even get past this guy. We should really enjoy these little times together. What was the last Final Fantasy I played? It was so easy. I don't even remember. But they seem like they had that longer like battle transitions than that. You know what? It's just when I was thinking about it, it's like, wow, these really are short. Uh, I'd never really thought about them before. I guess it's maybe... And also sometimes they're longer than other times. Probably just like... Xbox loaded, the disc loading, it. kind of. It's weird. Fun fact, cartridges often load la uh, faster so than discs. Which is why, you know, people say actually the Switch versions of well-optimized games tend to actually have better load times than of... than those of the modern, not modern, next-gen consoles, PS4 and Xbox One, just because of better optimization, you know, if you optimize a game well, that's the key phrase. Because if a game is unoptimized, of course it's gonna have terrible load times. But um, I could have sworn I read something about one of the fell arms being linked to this place. But I guess I can fight. Don't remember. You know what? I don't even need to do anything for this fight. That yeah, I can deal with this. Well, I look up. <laughs> um, what to do with the fell arms? Um. It's definitely before... Yeah, it's about here. Was too short. So we got... Okay. Yeah, apparently we can... Oh, Nebulum is apparently the third fell armor. Okay. Hmm. We did pick that up, right? I'm just double checking. I'm surprised he didn't make a fuss about it. Um, but yeah, we got actually another fell arm. So other fell arms are located... Uh, at the Reluise Hollow. Um... Wait, what? Apparently there's actually one at the Koi Woods that we didn't pick up, so... Whoops. So yeah, gotta go back for that, I suppose, at some point. Not sure when. Is that the area with the Gigantomonster? Which is what it says. It shouldn't take too 
too long, at least, to get. So yeah, I think we're gonna actually get back to the main story next time because we've got most of the side stuff, except the stuff we can't access quite yet. How much gold do I have? 44,000. Uh, 400,000. Um, apparently you just need a ton of gold late game for side quests. Like, a ton. Because you need a ton for the hot spring side quest, you need a ton for the, um... This is the wrong way. You need a ton for rebuilding a town late game. So yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Not sure where that's all supposed to come from. I guess if you're good at like... Hmm. Because like, can you turn the gold or the chips back into gold? Like if you just make a bunch of chips and then... Can you actually turn that into gold? I doubt it, really. I got time. Sure, let's try to grab this really quickly. I didn't pick it up, right? I'm just gonna double check really quickly. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't, but yeah, see, source is ring level 4, so, uh, back to quite Woods then, of all places. It must be on the left side of the arena, that's why I didn't see it, if I had to make a guess as to why, at least. So we definitely want to pick the side that, um, like this side, because this is a shorter path to the weapon. I'll be stock up on items next time off screen. And then yeah, we'll resume the story. Oh, this is the wrong way. <laughs> it's the other side of the forest. Uh, but this shouldn't take too long. Besides, these enemies aren't exactly powerhouses in the first place. Um, if I can see anything, because I'm having trouble actually seeing the actual path. I'm just kind of going where the enemies are, which clearly is Clearly, it's working out well. I wonder if at some point I can demonstrate the monsters respawning. I, I doubt it because it's like apparently a 10% chance, which isn't great odds. Um, I do like how there are tougher enemies. You know, it kind of breaks up the monotony that not everything is super low level, at least. Just most enemies are. Yeah, I wonder where this is supposed to be. Because it specifically says near the Gigantum Monster area. Oh, there it is. That is not it, actually. What is this? Huh, okay. Not what I expected at all. Yeah, apparently this is called the... Glacia Lobolus? Yeah, I feel like I would remember an item named that. It says, Burn the dead grass and Koi Woods to lead to an area with a gigantic monster in the fourth fell arm, Glacial Lobolus. Unless you get it from the gigantic monster, which brings up the question of why didn't we? Yeah, that raises more questions actually, because we basically went around the edges of the entire arena and didn't find anything, so. Hmm. I'm just kind of hugging the wall, just kind of mashing A in case there's anything really well hidden. Speaking of really well hidden, uh, there it is. The demonic axe haunted with anger and sorrow. The reason of the curse can only be revealed through battle. So yes, we have gotten all of the weapons we can actually get at the moment. Except the one at Red Reloise Hollow, of course. This looks like fun. I think we can save that for later. I think we should get back to the main story. Um, because most side quests kind of dead end at this point anyway. So, with that, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Tales of Vesperia. Now we found most of the bell arms. They don't seem really powerful to me. Maybe there's something we have to do to awaken them fully. We'd be getting a big boost to our own strength if we could manage that. Though it wouldn't be good to depend upon them too much. That's right. Just like an over-reliance on Blastia led to severe repercussions. If we rely on the power of the fell arms, we might be repeating the same mistakes. Well, just don't use them then. 
We're just gathering them up to make sure the wrong type of people don't get them. Right. 